Greetings and welcome to The Home Slice. This is a standard intro if you already know what's up with my 40 millimeter manila rope testing, the Andy rope test, then you can skip to this time listed on screen. This is where the actual edge test begins. If you haven't been here before, then you've caught me in the middle of a testing series where I'm taking Victorinox knives because they're simple steel that's mainly just steel. There's not a bunch of extra alloys and carbide things going on in them. And I'm testing what different sharpening stones do to them. I'm testing fine, medium, and coarse stones individually. Then I'm taking the best from those and I'm making what's called a dual grit edge. If you're new to the channel, a dual grit edge is where you sharpen one side coarse or medium and the other side of the edge you sharpen fine. It has some really interesting characteristics. Usually it creates an, an aggressive edge that lasts longer than it normally would with either coarse or fine, with some exceptions, which we're testing to find out. Anyway, my test consists of, I've got a little goofy rig that I slice through a one centimeter thick sisal rope and it's on a 45 degree wedge. It's intended to transfer that force down. And then I measure how many kilograms of pressure it took to slice through the rope while holding the rope vertical. That's intended to take forward motion and quantify how much pressure it took to slice through. This gives you some rough idea of edge aggression. The next test is to cut through a 40 millimeter thick manila rope. And then I test on a best machine tester to test how keen and nice the edge stayed. I do that until it's over 400 grams on the best tester, checking with microscope and checking to see when it loses shaving capability in between tests. After three, I will hammer the edge into a pine piano leg, and that's just to see if any of the edges break on impact. There are certain sharpening methods I've found that create an edge that's not as robust to impact tasks. And I wanna kinda of weed those out because for a working edge, I want it to be reasonably durable. Anyway, that's what we're testing for today. In just a second, we'll skip right over to the test footage and I will let you know what the finishing stone that we're actually testing was. All right guys, today we are covering the King 6000 Grit Waterstone. This is one of the oldest water stones. In my whole collection, I got it on Murray Carter's recommendation years ago, and it's produced a pretty keen 141 grams best edge, not quite the best we've seen, but slightly better than the Cerax 3K on the initial best reading. And overall, we see some pretty similar characteristics in this test to the Suhiro Cerax 3000 grit. That initial aggression number that we see is not quite as fine, but similar to the Cerex here, the edges look pretty well cleaned up. There's not very much identifiable burr or bending along the edge. Keep in mind we're at a thousand times magnification here. There's a little bit more irregularities and kind of texturing to this edge. And at first you can see I moved through the rope a little bit more quickly so that Suhiro cleaned up the edge a little bit better, but we see that texture paying off in getting through the rope pretty well. And just similar to the Suhiro, we've got a fairly poor reading, although it's not quite as bad. The Suhiro is all the way at 640 so retested and got a number under 400 there so just like i did with a suhiro i figured i'd give it a second chance and see what our second number looks like but indeed we are at 490 and so both of these japanese wet stones exhibited very similar characteristics they both came off fairly aggressive at first but felt like they rounded over fairly quick i've frozen the highest value here for you guys it's a 7.9 when you take away the rig weight, that's 5.9 kgs. So you see here that we lost less aggression, but it all still did not complete three passes, similar to the way to the Cerex 3K did not. You can see here the texturing is gone, and I, I do believe there's either a teeny foil burr that's not big enough to be seen at this level of magnification, or the edges rounded over fairly easily as they're not perhaps as crisp and unmoving as a diamond edge so we've done the toughness test here and keep in mind our last reading was 490 and so here we've got a reading of 468 now of course we're reading a slightly different portion of edge so i don't think that it made the edge better 
but there's no observable loss anyway. And that sawdust that you see is the edge of where the knife finished penetrating into the pine piano leg. And I don't know about you guys, I, I can't see or identify much visible damage here. So a fairly stable edge and fairly well cleaned up and polished, but loses its aggression quickly, which has been a characteristic of, of both of the really fine grit water stones we've seen so far. I'll put a video of the last test I did on screen now. And for all the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the home slice. You guys take care. Bye.